What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Omni Game Show. My name is AJ Gels. How y'all doing? We are back with FIFA 19, The Journey Champions. Uh, last video, we finished up Chapter 3 with Kim Hunter. Uh, she played through, what, who did we beat? We beat Australia, then we beat Germany. And uh, now I believe it's going to be up against France in the final in the next chapter. Uh, we're going to continue on with the, uh, the Champions League with Alex Hunter and Real Madrid. And match day. Oh wow, really? We're doing we're we're doing a normal La Liga match. Okay, interesting. I have a feeling that this is here just to allow allow the player to have more time with the uh, with the mentors trying to level up the or, or trying to complete their um was it what what is it there um the relationship with each I don't know what the what actually to call the mechanic uh, so that we can then go into training days and Stadium, sure uh, compete with them to Madrid. get those uh, get those skills me, Martin Tyler, and we'll be your commentary team today like I said, at least I guess that's what it is. Otherwise, I can't see why we're now just hopping back into... We've got it down as a 4-3-3. Yeah, it's a system that the Netherlands used to use all the time. I think Bully, they invented it and uh, plenty of countries have adopted it since. Was I saying? Um, uh, why we're going back into normal league play now. This is how the visitors shape up. Probably one of the two front men will... And now the shot! Well, Isco certainly established a, a reputation in Spain. His move to Real Madrid didn't automatically bring him regular first-team football at that level, but he stuck at it. Yeah, and he's one of those players that can produce something special, and for that reason, I think the opposition will be keeping a close eye on him here. Anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. It's Isco. Bale. And he goes for the chip. Really? He's gone for the chip here. I mean, you, you, you didn't pull the keeper at all. I mean, he was clearly still in position. Here's Isco. I mean, like, were you, were you expecting him to? Useful for Real Madrid now. Like, was that, was that an expectation that the, the keeper was going to move out or what? I, I can't figure out that, that decision. Table, Alan, and it's quite clear that Real Madrid have to win today. Yeah, that's certainly going to focus their minds as a player, that kind of situation. I think it can help these well lads out there today, and I do fancy them. Doing well to keep the ball. Bale! Well, here it is. The first goal of the game that they have absolutely dominated. Very good play. Defence opened up again, but the difference is this time well, they put the ball past the goalkeeper. Good finish. And they're looking a very classy side at the moment. You have to be there to score it. And he ran in and got his reward. Just couldn't miss. No, it was a poacher's effort. <laughs> right, through his, <laughs> right through the legs. Took a little bit of instinct. No great shots on the cards then because it's Real Madrid who lead. Bit predictable with the passing and the opposition able to deal with that. Made the tackle. That's a combination of skill and will to hold off the opposition. Uh, push the ball forward. There you go. Rafael Varad. And it's gone out for a throw. Yep. Aguilera. Longo cleared away by the defender. Rafael Varad, Sergio Ramos. Mm -hmm. 
Here's a chance to go down the outside of the opposition. Spotted that well and intercepted. To Real Madrid, the luxury of a lead, but it's not a, a hefty one. Yeah, I think maybe they would have expected by this point to be more goals ahead. He's got support here. Challenges for the ball. Yeah, well... We've had a few chances to score goals, but for some reason the AI is doing the intentions of the opposition doing weird things. The interception. Gareth Bale. Bale. Here's Isco. Well, we're looking at a Real Madrid team that had the lead, but aren't really believing. It's quite surprising, I think, that they're not pushing on from this position. Maybe they will in the second half. Tony Kroos, Hunter, good position. They've worked this attack very well into a quite a, a chance. Yeah, that's that crap. Off the goalkeeper, Hunter. Well, he clears the danger. Well, suddenly they could be on the counter. Although the game like awards me, you know, it's saying, "Hey, you know, great run, good shot," and I'm like, "Well, yeah, but I." It went in the middle of the goal. There was no way that had a... You know, I mean, like unless the goalie was asleep, that was not going to go in. Modric. It's really passive play at the moment by the defending team. Come on! Well, he's cleared the danger. Well, the referee has signaled for half-time. God damn it. I got around him and he's right on my ass. And they kick off at the start of the second half. A chance for Hunter to make some ground here. Aguilera. See, again, it tells me to release the ball sooner, but who was I supposed to pass it to? I was trying to make a run to, you know, score. Hunter. And here's the shot. Oh, that was garbage. Not too much direction. I don't know if anyone caught it when we were looking at the, you know, the positives and the negatives from that first half. It told me one of the, one of the things was your shot accuracy has been great this season. They say that, and then I pull something like that. He's got it away, and it's going to be a throw here. Aguilera, nice bit of interplay between these two. And it's out of play. Well, long overdue, you feel this change for a side that's behind. All right, 7-7 seven, seven is the goal, one assist, and win. Okay. So we just got to look to... See, this is something I was saying last video. When it come, when we get those, like, performance goals, like, partway through the match, it, it seems like they keep trying to tell us to focus on assists. And he could get away here. He's in the clear. Up for grabs here. You know, like it, like it's always, hey, get the, uh, you know, get one assist. Help the team out. Or, you know, help your teammates out. And I, and I don't understand that when all of our characters play as strikers. I mean, maybe I can understand Kim doing that because she's, you know, sharing that role with, uh, with Morgan. this side tick. Really, no whistle on that. All right. Um, you know, like like I was saying, I mean, like I, I get it when she shares that you know the rule because there's uh, there's two strikers on that on the American squad, but with Arsenal and here in Real, I mean, it's Danny and Danny and Alex. I mean, they're sole strikers. Striding forward. Purpose Hell, even then, I guess I can understand Danny because Danny was plays more like a playmaker than anything else. He's less of a less of a finisher. That's a good spot by the defender. Well, frankly, Alex's character, uh, his build is so much more like just a pure striker. I mean, it's all pace and pace and shooting. Maybe that will ease the pressure. Tony Kroos. Good vision here. 
Bale. He's got his shot off now. Out in front of goal. Off the post. <laughs> Well, if that chant an incisive pass. Well, the play is broken down now. Well, this is fascinating. And the crowd are loving the, the drama that we're watching here. Just the one goal in it in favour of the home team. Yeah, careful that they don't start celebrating too quickly and that the players feel they've won the game before they actually have. We do like watching Real Madrid play. They bring a, a power and a pace to their football. Of course, all the history that people like me have grown up with generation might still be finding out about a uh, truly great football club and it's been a pretty good performance here by the class representing the club today Modric and looking at my watch four minutes left fantastic game this and it's going to go right down to the wire oh that was a close one really that was offsides all right no surprise at this stage in the game that really you're subbing me out with three minutes in fact both managers are here and we will get a substitution apiece. Yeah, simulate the rest. Watch as now we end up losing two, two to one. No, somehow they score another two. Okay. the interview at 11. The shoot at 2.30 and then that gala dinner tonight. Yeah, yeah. So much for a day off. Superstars don't get days off. That's why they're superstars. Today is just another step towards what we're trying to achieve. Getting your brand out there. I'm going to wait for you in the car. And hurry up, you're already late. I don't like her. Got something on your shirt. What? Where? <laughs> Too easy. <sighs> Can't believe you're leaving already. Got a World Cup to prepare for. You sure you can't come to the airport with us? Give your sister a proper send off. We could even hang out for a bit. We'll grab some lunch. See some sights. Still haven't seen the Prado. You know, sibling bonding. You know, well, on the one hand, I, I think the press thing is important. I mean, it is his job. But honestly, I don't like his his agent. Yes, me. Gonna have to cancel today. What do you mean, cancel today? Which part of it? All of it. I cannot cancel all of it. What could possibly have come? Something more important came up. What is more important than this, Alex? We have work. There we go. So, the Prado, you say? Actually, I'm feeling kind of tired. I might just head to the airport and nap for a few hours. Oi, <laughs> that chick <laughs> little. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up. See, I mean, on one hand, <coughs> excuse me, on one hand, you can say, oh, he's putting his job before his family. Well, yes, but his job is important. I mean, you know, he's made the commitment to do these press appearances. He probably should go and do them. Y you know what I mean? Eh. Like, I, I can see both sides of that. Um, so, it looks like Arsenal's got uh, Paris Saint-Germain, and we got Manchester. All right, game on. Well, yeah, that's, that's I, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I get the, you know, family's important side, but but like I said, you got to, you, all, you also got to admit, you make, you, you make commitments like that, you have to, you still have to do them, you know? You still have to. Do your job and whatnot. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a heartless bastard. People have told me that.
Eh. Yeah, one-on-one -on -one shifting. Oh, this drill. Great. Miss that one. Ah, crap. There we go. There we go. Saved it at the end. Crossing mayhem, cross ball to your teammates, going as many goals as possible for a score. Okay. Hey, hey, tiki taka, my friend. Our elite passing is how we own possession. Oh, it's legend, mate. I'm excited to be a part of it. Are you? Prove it. Oh, come on. Finally, we got on the board with some points. A garbage pass. Oh, I thought, well, I'm like, wait a minute, did I, did I win that one? Surprising uh, how bad of a start I got off to, I'm, like I said, like, I'm, I'm surprised that I was able to get, uh, I was surprised I was able to get as many points as I did. <coughs> Jeez, I'm sorry about the coughing. I love the winter, you know, Christmas, I like snow, I like all this, you know, me being from the, you know, the Midwest. It's like, this is my time of year. But it's like, I'm always like in a perpetual, like I have a perpetual cold. Well, I think we won that one. Yeah! Chris, confident, with vision no less. Very encouraging, Hunter. Happy to be of service. With passes like that, I have no doubt we'll be. Don't be too nice. You freak me out. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that's three mentor challenges down. I believe there's only two more. I mean, I doubt we're going to actually get to complete those challenges by the end of this chapter, but... 
So we're done with Modric. There's still Marcelo and Varane. Marking ball control. I suppose that's the one we're going with. And Manchester. And so the floodlights are shining down on the Bernabeu. Just four teams remain in the Champions League. And we've got a belter of a semi-final for you as Real Madrid take on Manchester City. This is Derek Ray. I'm joined for commentary on this first leg by Lee Dixon. And Lee, so many talking points. Absolutely. How lucky am I watching my boyhood team, Manchester City, play the might of Real Madrid with such glorious history in the Champions League. Manchester City not so, but they won't take this game lightly. Real Madrid will be prepared, make no mistake about that. They'll know everything they need to know. And a chance for them to nudge it. Yeah! A brisk start and a quick goal. Well, the manager would have said, keep it tight at the back and see if we can nick an early goal. They certainly have done. Well, let's see that again. Oh, he's so sweetly hit. Look at his technique. Absolutely brilliant. He's got the power, he's got the accuracy. And now he's got himself a goal. Playing once more, Real Madrid with the lead here. And when I was going, when I was going to the uh, the close corner, I was really afraid that that was going to uh, away. just uh, miss just way wide. Company, fantastic overall read by Isco, and this time it's in. And that's two. see that strike again first time is always very very difficult to strike a ball the timing has to be right the technique has to be right but above all you have to concentrate on the ball as it's coming to you you know you're not going to take a touch concentration is everything Fernandinho with it well, regaining possession for his side cleverly they're advancing here Real Madrid can they take advantage can he put it away so a Real Madrid corner. Corner kick played in and clears his lines. Tony Kors. Alex Hunter. Will there be a tangible end product? Oh, the block from company. Sterling. Now we've hit the latter stages of the competition. All teams, all players involved will feel they have a good chance and will doubtless have one eye on the final at the Estadio Metropolitano, including, of course, Alex Hunter. Absolutely. What a big night for the likes of Alex Hunter playing in such big games. But all the experienced players in those dressing rooms tonight will be looking at the final and going, let's forget about it because this is semi-final. Real Madrid are very experienced at this stage and that can count for an awful lot. Focus on your game plan. Get the game out of the way, and then you can look forward to the final. And Isco doing superbly to win back possession. This is Kors. Gareth Bale. It is a fruitful forward run. And crossed in there by Gareth Bale. Just wanted to get it. Yeah, just saying, I, I, I asked for a pass and, you know, wasn't getting it. It's with David Silva. Had a, had a chance for a second goal, but you know, whatever. <laughs> Rafael Varan. Isco. In possession, Marcelo. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. Strong play here. The ball with Luka Modric. Isco has it. And Hunter, what's he going to do? Luka Modric. And he's gone and scored for Real. Well, that's what Real Madrid do. They put you under pressure and you normally crumble. Well, 
let's see that one again. It's all about the contact, does everything right. He's not bothered where the goal is. He knows where it is. He gets a beautiful strike on it. Well, sadly, we have to conclude that this hasn't really been a contest, but all credit to any side committed to scoring goals like this. Well, this is where great vision from Leroy Zane. And the decision yeah, is too much. Here. This is Kors. He's protecting it well. Rafael Varane. In possession, Marcelo. Modric. Tony Kors. An authoritative challenge. It's with David Silva. De Bruyne now. Yeah, looks like, yep. Oh, no, I thought it was going to be ours. And De Bruyne. Tony Kors. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Now the forward thrust from Gareth Bale. But what can he produce from this sector of the pitch? And the defender takes care of business. Marco Asensio. And the first half is in the history books here at the Bernabeu. Hey, Kev. All right, mate. I haven't seen you since that FIFA say no to racism gala. How you been? Uh, pretty good. Uh, working hard these days. Playing lots of football. You know how it is. I do. I do. It's relentless. But you know what they say. No rest for the wicked. Uh, raindrop frozen in the air. Don't know where you find the time, man. Bro, I don't. It's mad. I bet. See you back out there then. Yeah, uh, finish strong, but not too strong. <laughs> no promises, yeah. All the, all the frozen rain. <laughs> uh, show great class, impressive through balls, show awareness of the goal, Chris Vass, great short passes, blah blah blah. I feel like those bottom three positives were all just different ways of saying the same thing, and I lose because of poor timing. They could turn this around. De Bruyne. Carvajal. Bale. Isco. No! Marco Asensio to feed it through. Well, it was straight at the keeper, but technically good goalkeeping. I would probably I would have been in a much better position. I call for, I call for the pass and then I tap the button again because I I don't know why I just I press it too many times. Tony I always I always pull crap like that in. Tony full of ideas on the passing front. Thank you. And it will be a free kick to Real Madrid. That should be a red card. He slid into my he slid into my back. Really, no card? He slid into my back. I didn't even have the ball. Really? I'm actually really surprised about that. And see again, play as a team, get two assists. And Gareth Bale takes it on! I keep saying it. I thought I was a striker. I thought my my job was to score goals, not to. You, you know, my job was to score goals, not to set them up. Rafael Varane. Here's Ramos. Modric. Oh, they've lost it. Well, no, I'm I'm still I'm just, maybe it's because it's a uh, we're in the story mode that there wasn't a card there, but. So the second match wasn't just a uh, was an eleven on ten, or no, I don't I don't know what the hell I'm saying here. Um, no, it's probably because it was because it was the story mode that it didn't produce the card. Because I've uh, I've found that when you when you slide into someone's back like that in a you know just normal play that that's a that, that's universally a red card.
This is Gareth Bale. Isco has it. Well, he's got plenty of space on the flank here. Cut out by Otamendi. And the defender finding a solution to the problem. Modric. Here's Carvajal. This is Gareth Bale. And Manchester City will go to their bench. Gundogan. Well, it's come down to the final 20 minutes here. It's with Mendy. Sané. And they deal with the threat this time. Isco has it. Well, there might well be scope for them to counter-attack here. That is how to put in a challenge. He's been a bit unfortunate in that the ball has gone out. Substitution for Real Madrid. Carvajal. He had the sixth sense to know what to do and win it back. Given away. This is Kroos. Strong play here. Company now. It's with Gundogan. Well, let's make no bones right. about it. Really should get back into position before I get. Sorry, my City players better get there. Play rating drop. He's going to go ballistic at full time. Lack of intensity, no hunger, no passion. Shocking at the back too. Hunter. Tremendous intuition to win it back. They've given it away. Sergio Aguero has it. And, a and back at ours. He hears the footsteps and feels the pressure. And just the one minute left in normal time here. The referee has decided that two ad and a fine pass placed by Alex Hunter. Isco has finished successfully. Little doubt, really, once he gets in that position. I had a chance to get that second assist, but the guy just passes it off. I think Granty is one of our one of our backs, but still, come on. See, I get I give it to Marcelo. Also had a great chance for that to boost our our team rating. Yeah, absolutely. Semi-finals, doesn't matter how you play. doesn't matter how you get the job done. Real Madrid have done it tonight, and they'll look at the second leg, very hopeful to go to the final. On the other hand, Manchester City are playing catch-up. Well, the focus of attention now switches. To oh, well, we got, uh, got everything else. Finish the job. Tune in on EA TV next time to find it. Mix that with, we got a, uh, we have a four-goal lead in the aggregate. Congratulations, you appear to master professional difficulty. Nope. <laughs> I thought it was about to tell me something good. Because <laughs> I've played on the difficulty above this. I get my ass kicked. Scoring runs and adept, tar uh, adept attacking scenarios. It is your responsibility to be the best player you can be. I leave it to you to decide what work you most need to do. Oh, that was garbage. Oh, come on! <laughs>
I, I should have at least had two or three goals there. Boom. How was I even supposed to... I'll take the B. me. I just can't do anything. There we go. Great. Oh, come on! See, and that, stop, that doesn't get us anything, even though I would have drawn the, uh, drawn the foul. Okay, why can I do it now? Alright. This 
The kick is good. <laughs> no idea how I got an A on that, but we'll we'll take it. Diet and recovery. Welcome to the football. All right, all right, all right. Let's go. Holy crap! We're playing in playing in England, and there's no uh, there's no rain. The hell! That never happens. Real Madrid in the driving seat, having prevailed in the first match at the Bernabeu. Lee, a great ball from Isco, and the decision is one of offside. I uh, I I'm serious when I say this. So I mean, I I don't think I have played in. I mean, my, my go-to team used to be Arsenal. more and more in favor. When I would, uh, you know, play in, uh, play some, you know, have my manager career. You know, I I always play Arsenal. It's it's constantly raining. Like I I don't I think I could count on uh, one hand the number of of uh, sunny games that I actually played in. Yeah, one central striker, Derek. The width comes from the wingers who will stay high and wide. A very narrow midfield and a conventional back four. Modric. So plenty of forward momentum from Real Madrid here. Alex Hunter. And the goal scorer is Tony Kroos. That works. Single-minded. All right, let's go game. Come on. Here's the replay. I can see why the keeper's a little frustrated. He thought he got and let's be honest. We've, we've won this one. We're on to the finals. I mean, it's a fi it's a 5 nothing in aggregate. Far from typical of Aguero to give it away in that fashion. It's an accurate pass from Kroos. Oh, he's knocking on the door. Okay, not what I wanted to do. He's going to be especially proud of Lee. Well, he did have other options, but he thought, you know what, I'm just going to have a go. Otamendi has it. And he's made headway. Does he have the beating of the goalkeeper? There we go. Joy for the Merengues. Real Madrid have scored. Well, they pushed and pushed. They tested and tested, and they got their reward. Well, you tell youngsters in that position just to hit the target. You can't score unless you do. And on this occasion, he does, and he scores. Well, let's go back to the goal that was scored. And this has become an absolute trashing. 6-0 is the aggregate score. This is Gareth Bale. The ball with Luka Modric. Oh, not a great touch, and they've lost possession. And now Kevin De Bruyne. Well, let's see what he has in store for them. And the defender takes care of business. This is Kroos. In possession, Marcelo. Oh, he's lost possession. Thunder's clear. Possession seeded by the Merengues. And now Kevin De Bruyne. This is Kroos. He's given us a... Ah, crap, that was a shit pass. All right, why are the why, why is Real Madrid called the Merengues? Anybody? Sorry, help the, help the dumb American. A 
City corner as is. Taken short. And he's pulled it back here. So I think I say so I, I think I, I took uh what's that? I took uh Oh geez, I, I took I took a semester of Spanish and I remember none of it. I, I, I keep I keep telling people the fact that universities <coughs> require you to take uh, take foreign languages it's ridiculous. No, you you don't remember anything. Well, with half time looming, City almost need a miracle. And threaded through by Isco. I mean, hell, I took uh, was I I took. Uh, Jeez, what did I what did I take? I, I took I took a, a semester of Spanish and a semester of German, and I already knew some German because one I took a, I took a little bit of it in high school, and two, you know my family is German. Well, not you know, you know what I mean of German descent. There we go. And hell, look at my last name. Yeah. Um, my my grandparents, uh, my grandparents spoke it. So. You know, I, I I knew the language already. It, it's it mixed that with the fact that the education system in the in the U.S. is so bent towards so towards teaching people how to test well and not. And I mean, I say that even in even in universities. I mean, I the um, oh, it was an offside. Well, it was close, but he just went a little bit too. I mean, even even in the even in the universities, it's just I've. A lot, a lot of it. I don't want to say school's a waste of time. I just want to say, you know, it's just. I feel like a lot of school is just bureaucratic busy work. You know, it's it, it's not a lot of actually learning the skills you need. It's a lot of kind of. What's the what's the word? It, it's. A lot of learning the process. It's just oh, well, you know, it's all, you know, it's I, I once asked a like I once asked like a math teacher in high school, for example, you know, it's like well, why do we need to do these like thirty, you know, like practice equate, you know, practice equations when it's all the same equation, you know, why why do I need to do thirty of them? I mean, look, I you know, I and it's like sometimes it's okay. You're gonna do about five this way, and then we're gonna change where the variable is, and you know, it's like I, I like algebra, um, so you know, it's it's what I'm thinking of. Uh, but you know, it's it's like okay, I can understand, you know, some, you know, I understand the need for the practice equations. You know, it's so you learn, it's so you learn how to the equation. It's where you can, it's so you know how to solve it depending on where the variable is. I, I get that stuff. But my issue with it comes when it's like, okay, do 30 of them. Why? I understood the entire concept after 15. Why do I need to do 30? It's it's a waste of my time. And then they get mad at me because I'm saying it's a waste of my time. It's just, it, it's, a, it's a lot... You know, and, and again, it's and, you know, they get mad at me and I ask them... Why? Why? Why is thirty necessary? If I understood it after fifteen, they're just like, well, just don't question it. Just do the thirty. I'm like, well, give me a reason why, and there's never an answer. The answer always comes down to it's because I said so. Aguero in the center. I don't know. I'm sorry. I, I I got on a weird. I got on a, <laughs> a weird rant about school. It's. I, I and I'm not trying to bash you know school and learning and all that. I understand the importance of it. It's just to me, so much of it feels like it's it's like I said. It's it feels like it's busy work. Like I would you know I keep saying, teach me the stuff I need to do a job, and I am all for it. Yeah. Sorry, I'll get I'll get off this topic. Otherwise, I'm gonna I'm gonna just be sitting here talking about it for about another thirty minutes. Ah, crap. And now Kevin De Bruyne. Now Mendy. No problems grabbing hold of that one. The 
ball with Luka Modric. So plenty of forward momentum from Real Madrid here. It's with David Silva. Here's Mares. Walker. Good tackle. De Bruyne now. And this is Sané. Might be a chance here. Corner for Manchester City. Honestly, yeah, sub me out. I, I really don't care. We've got this one one. It's not like uh, you're subbing me out with, uh, you know, the match on the line or, you know, and I've had a bad performance. I was able to get a goal. Sub me out. Let's let's just get this story rolling. He's just a thorough reader of the game. And there we saw it. Hunter, what's he going to do? Damn it. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. Substitution for Real Madrid. That's fine. And come on, game. You can do it. Load the screen. And 1-4, and we advance to the final, as was pretty obvious. And it looks like in the next video, we're going over and playing as Danny Williams. All right. Well, guys, I think that's going to about do it for this one. I want to say, as always, thanks so much for watching. Facebook, Twitter, the website, Minds.com. Links to all that stuff is down in the description below. Please remember to like, comment if you're not already. Please subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for more next time. But until then, my name's AJ Gels. This is the Game Channel. I'm out.